Hey everybody, it's Velos Project in Lebanon. We're coming to you live from the heart of Beirut. This is the middle of downtown Beirut. And uh, this area is called Martyrs Square. This statue behind me is actually a statue that was built in 1960 commemorating uh, martyrs that were killed, Arabs who were killed by the Ottoman Turks uh, in 1916. But the name Martyrs Square is actually uh, appropriate uh, in later years because this area that we're standing in right now, this was the line, this was the green line between uh, the two sort of uh, communities that were warring in, in the 1970s and 80s. Uh, on my right was a largely Christian area, uh, controlled, protected by Christian uh, militias. And over here on, on my left were, were the Muslims, uh, largely led uh, by the PLO. So the PLO, just a little bit of backstory. Lebanon, as I said uh, in my last video, Lebanon is a very fragile sort of coalition of different ethnic and religious communities. In the 1970s, after they were kicked out of Jordan by the King of Jordan, the Palestinians set up shop here uh, under the leadership of Yasser Arafat and the PLO. Uh, and over time, their presence grew and grew and they sort of became a state within a state. Uh, so much so that the Lebanese people, uh, many factions of the Lebanese began to push back and to fight against them. And this really was kind of ground zero for that war. And you can see, if you're up close with this statue, you can see that this statue is full of bullet holes uh, because the two sides were, were actually shooting right across uh, this area that we're now standing on. These buildings, you can, you'll notice all the buildings on either side of us are new because this was basically a big pile of rubble including uh, the mosque uh, behind me, a Sunni mosque, Al-Amin Mosque, where uh, Rafiq Kariri uh, is, is, is buried. Rafiq Kariri, we'll talk about him, I think, in another video. But we wanted to tell you about this place. Uh, we're right by the sea, beautiful uh, city, no, once known as the Paris of the Middle East. But this statue, and this place in particular, is a, is a, is a reminder that these sort of fragile coalitions, these, these communities living close to each other uh, present all kinds of challenges, to say the least. So we're going to continue bringing you updates from, from, from this city and from others around the country. Uh, hope you'll stay tuned.